The Honors Research Program has allowed me the opportunity to explore many different types of sciences. I have been able to learn about geology or biology, mechanical engineering, data management, and all these things that fit into the greater role of oceanography and that I didn't know that fit so well together. I'd say that by learning about all these things, I wasn't only able to focus on the one that I liked more, but I was also able to get a better understanding of how this one science could fit into the greater scientific community. Save the Bay was really amazing because it was one of the first times we've really had hands-on experience with the wonderful area in which we are in because a lot of our work has been done very abstractly. We're in the lab, in the office, you know, building things and collecting data, but of course you can't ignore the wonderful resource that is Narragansett Bay. And so it was amazing even to just get to like interact with the salt marsh and touch the peat that I learned about in school. And to get to look at squid and like scare them in their little tanks, which was something that I hadn't thought that I would get to do at least until college, just because it's one of those wonderful opportunities where again, people trust you and you are counted upon to actually know what you're talking about and to therefore be able to get in and do your own work. When I signed up for this program, I really didn't know that we'd be doing a lot um, with engineering. And to be able to work on what was called the Drifter program was really um, quite amazing for me. I really enjoyed um, both bonding with my new team and learning um, what we could do, what we could accomplish um, with all the power tools and all the new people and all the resources we had, um, be it using a power saw and drill bits. Uh, on a buoy, we successfully created um, the flotational device for the surface current buoy, um, of which is going to hopefully float through the Gulf Stream and out to England or off the coast of Nova Scotia or even Africa if we're really lucky. Uh, currently we have finished both our drifters. Uh, one is a drogue. It's 50 feet of steel cable attached uh, to a buoy and a GPS on the top that puts out a ping every hour so we'll be able to see where it goes and after we launch it off the coast of Belize, hopefully it will not travel in the Gulf, but it will go up the Gulf Stream. An important aspect of the Honors Research Program is dorm life. We have to wake up on our own in the morning to make sure we get to the bus on time. We're responsible for finding our own way around and getting ourselves from place to place. We do our own laundry as often as we want and often cook dinner for ourselves. This responsibility is great because it gives a window into the responsibilities that we'll have for the rest of our lives. One of the biggest things that we did at ISC was that we um, took turns practicing watch standing where um, they played you know, old videos of some of the dives that they'd done in the past and we got to look at all the different um, animals and different like structures on the ocean floor that were down there and we basically had to record down everything that we saw and one of the um, toughest parts about it was that a lot of the things we didn't know what they were so we were constantly asking um, mostly Aaron what they were and um, you know a lot of times you get like four or five different entries of the same thing because the people next to you are all recording the same thing as you see it so um, that was pretty interesting though, I mean we got to see a whole lot of different things that I knew that they existed but I didn't really know what they were or what they even looked like or anything. One of the departments at the Graduate School of Oceanography is the Ocean Engineering Department. Uh, this department specializes in pretty much anything that needs to be built on the ocean, so that's from anything from ROVs to oil platforms to uh, wind turbines. And the people there were very helpful. They talked to us like uh, we know what we were doing and then we got to drive a ROV in one of their test tanks after touring the fantastic facility. Another really cool activity that we got to do this program that was a lot of fun was that after Dr. Nicole Renault gave us a talk about multi-beam sonar, 
we made our own model seafloors out of office boxes, and then used dowels as fake sonar equipment to jab down and measure the different depths at different points in these boxes. Then we used Excel and we made a 3D map of what those seafloors looked like, and we were able to see where the other groups had hidden little objects inside the boxes. The great thing about this program is that when you come here, you're welcomed into a family and you meet so many people that can help you in your future and you make so many connections with people that can give you internships or write you college recommendations or help you with a job. And I think as we're leaving this program, it's great to know that there's still people around the country who love the same thing that you love and are going through the same struggles with college and the last year of high school and I think that it's it's good to have a sense of comfort with that. You know we've been here for three and a half weeks and we've already become best friends and I mean I plan on keeping in touch with everyone in the future and I hope that they all keep in touch with each other too. Um, I think bonding like we have is one of the great things about the Honors Research Program. We created a tight-knit family and I love that about it here.